the Apex ranked updates, Lamar Jackson throwing a ball and a $5,000 fortunes keep kickoff event. Let's talk about it. Welcome back for the sixth installment of this week on 1v1 Me. If you're returning, welcome back. And if you're brand new, we appreciate you being here. My name is Michael, and I'll be going over all of the news in the world of 1v1 Me and competitive gaming. Let's go over the craziest moments that happened this past week on 1v1 me. Remember the person who clips the number one moment will be receiving $20 to use on the app. Coming in at third, we have D-Roy playing in a $2 Madden 22 match. We have the Colts kicking it off to the Buccaneers right here, and he's running it up the field shedding all kinds of tackles. He's cutting it up like a gourmet cheese board. He's going to the 30, the 20, and holy crap, that is a Buccaneers touchdown right there. Stopping at number two, we have Not Quizly playing in a $10 FIFA 22 match, which is actually the newest game we've added to the platform. But if we take a look right here, it looks like he's passing the ball around like it's a hot potato. Forward, backward, forward, backward, forward, backward. And he finally passes it forward to this guy. Let's see if he can score, and he does. That's an amazing goal. This week's best clip is by IQ Steeler, playing in a $40 Madden 22 match. It looks like he has the Ravens right here. He has the running back, Lamar Jackson, running around with the ball. And it looks like he's actually going to throw it, if that's even a legal play for a running back to throw the ball. And look who catches it. It's it's Mark Andrews, the best wide receiver in the game. That is a touchdown for the Ravens flock. Cool, 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 cool. Let's get right into the Call of Duty news. While there wasn't too much happening in the past week, with the addition of the brand new map Fortune's Keep, there were a few updates to the game. We have brand new lootable perks as well as adjustments made to them as well. We have updates to attachments as well as brand new gameplay features. And on top of this, we had some quality of life improvements, which made changes to the gas mask animation, buy station menu, on screen hit markers, and much more. Here's a list of bug fixes that were made to the game, and apparently they made some massive improvements to the ricochet anti cheat. Finally, with the addition of Fortune's Keep, they also added a bunch of Easter eggs to the map, which we made step by step guides on where you can find on our TikTok. This week, we hosted a $5,000 Fortune's Keep kickoff tournament, and let's just say it was a blast watching the whole thing through. We had players like Scummin, Huskers, and Blue battling it out in a best of three double elimination bracket. In third place, we had Raided and Jukies, who eventually got knocked out by Team Scummin. The finals were insane. We had users Kang and KTV going up against Scummin and on Rational. The team Kang were able to pull off the win 2-1, finishing the tournament without dropping a single round. Personally, I think it's pretty cool to see active users on the 1v1 me app get invited to the tournament and pull off the championship. A pretty cool stat is that Kane pulled off a 5.7 average KD, while Cade pulled off a 3.4. Those are pretty insane numbers to me. Let's listen into their reaction after winning the whole tournament. Yo! Let's go! Oh! <laughs> Awesome, bro. Me, me and the whole group, bro. Me and the whole guy, gang, bro. We're just sitting there, bro. Like, oh my god, bro, they're done too. Bro, what's Kane doing? What's Kane doing, bro? Let's talk about Apex Legends and how down bad the game is right now. But before I do, let's cover some of the files that were found in the game. Among these were indicators of a level cap increase that could go all the way up to 700, as well as a few Halloween skins and a mode for gun game coming in Season 14. We also have some ranked updates, where the split reset will only bring you down 4 divisions instead of 6. On top of this, only 10 RP will be charged for all ranks and divisions as well as more RP being rewarded for high elimination counts. But let's talk about all of the issues the game is having. Going down the list, we have the caustic invincibility glitch that still has not been fixed, as well as coins not being given to players who bought them. We also have an audio bug that's been in the game for a while, and the Lobo tactical is still not working since the beginning of Season 13. But there's a brand new issue. With the brand new update, Xbox players are receiving massive input lag, so they aren't able to play the game. I mean, are you all having any of these issues let me know in the comments down below because this seems to be getting out of control but that's all we have for you now we'll catch you next week <laughs> yeah that was that was that was <laughs> <laughs>